Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents some of the and stuff and life part of this. Uh, look through at the latest All Recipes magazine and I have not looked through it yet, I just pulled it out of the plastic to make my life a little bit easier. First looking through the swag and stuff that they send you, you can renew and give a gift. Ooh, hmm, if I renew I could send somebody another subscription. Hmm. Might have to see if somebody, if you're interested in a subscription to All Recipes magazine, why don't you, uh, in the comments below, tell me what your favorite dish that you saw in this magazine was. And, uh, we'll see if we can make this work out. Um, I think this is only in the U.S. Sorry, but yeah. Lots of good stuff in there, so make sure you tell me that. And something for Thomas Kincaid stuff, which I don't need. The Bradford Exchange. Yes, purchase other things you don't need. And highlights. Purchase stuff for the kids that you don't have, or something. I, I don't have kids, so I don't need any of that. But this is Thanksgiving Your Way. That on top is some kind of fancy shamance cheesecake with cranberry glaze and sugared cranberries. Okay, that's already right up my alley. I do love cheesecake and I love cranberries. Yes, I'm that person who loves cranberry sauce. I'm not talking about the stuff in the can, although it does have its nostalgic place for me. I make my own cranberry sauce every year. By the way, that is like the easiest thing ever that you can make. Yeah. If you're, you know, have to bring something to the family, you know, and you don't know what to make and, you know, your aunt so-and-so makes all the potato salad and all that stuff. So, you know what? I'll make cranberry sauce. I can tell you how. It takes you 10 minutes of your time and then another 20 minutes to let it cool down so you can put it in a container. You're done. Yeah. Okay, right away they're advertising something beautiful made out of some Werther's. Oh my gosh, look at that turkey. Wow, that's beautiful. That's just the table of contents. And they're calling it the greatest grilled turkey. I'm not going to grill a turkey, but boy, that does look good, doesn't it? And wetting my fingertips because I have a hard time flipping these pages. My hands are very dry right now. Oh, there's more table of contents. Oh, look at that. That looks like butternut squash soup, but I'm not sure if it is. That's pretty. They got some drinks in here too, y'all. I mean, nothing will kind of match up to that enormous drink that I had for my friend's birthday a little bit back, but you know. And something about this magazine that I really do enjoy, they give you a recipe index. Every recipe that's in this sucker is on this page and they have like little icons telling you that, that whether or not there's a how-to video. Yes, they have links to videos hidden gem, a newer recipe that requires your attention. All that means is hasn't had a lot of views or a lot of ratings yet. Um, a healthy pick, which no. Quick, ready in 35 minutes or less. Okay. Vegetarian. Gluten-free. There are some recipes in here that are gluten-free and they tell you which ones and which ones are vegan. And of course, some things hit multiple things on here. You know, three and four and five icons right on it. So yeah. All right, let's look through here. We have something from the editor. More adverts for stuff. Yeah, have a foolproof Thanksgiving. That doesn't exist, but that's an article that they're going to tell you about it. There is no such thing as a foolproof Thanksgiving. My first Thanksgiving in this house, we didn't realize that my oven's uh, temperature gauge had a problem. And it reads 100 degrees lower than what the, no wait, how does that go? If I set it for 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it's actually going to be about 300 to 310. So yeah, my turkey was dry. Ooh, look at the pictures on this page. That says vegan sweet potato chili. Yes, please. I'm going to have to look that up. That sounds delicious. 
I'm not you know, like vegetarian or vegan, but you're vegan, but we all try to eat a little less meat sometimes. It's better for the environment. It's better for our health. I mean, I do love my meats, but you know, try to do the thing. Grandmother's buttermilk cornbread. Hopefully not my grandmother's because my grandmother was not Southern and she could not make cornbread to save her life. She could cook all kinds of things, but that was not her thing. Mold cranberry juice. That sounds delightful. Slow cooker chicken chili. And I imagine you could substitute your leftover turkey in there too. There's some of that vegan, vegan, I want to say vegan, like a Vega, like a car that they don't make anymore. What's wrong with me? Vegan sweet potato chili. Um, what else is in here? Mini cinnamon rolls. Yes, make them in a small size so that you have to eat 12 of them. Oh, that's just me? Sorry. Okay. Candle, they're telling you about finding candle making supplies. Boy, they're really trying to branch out, aren't they? And even in the adverts, you get recipes. I kind of love that about this book. Um, this is an advert for pie crusts. These kind of pie crusts here, and they tell you how to make all these, these good things here. All kinds of pies and not the chicken chili though. That was just another thing, but this here. And yes, I love pumpkin pie. I make it my own way though, because of course I do. And I use some alternate spices in it. Not just regular pumpkin spice. I like to put garam masala um, in my pumpkin. And it just, it's delicious in a sweet treat like that. Oh, they've got some interesting stuff about kitchens that I cannot afford. About how to squeeze things into your small kitchen. And, uh, and by the way, and I say I can't afford it. Look at that range. Come on now. That is no bargain basement item. I do like that prep table though. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, all kinds of informational stuff. See, it's not just recipes. In here, this is talking about the different kinds of syrups. Talking about birch syrup and maple syrup. Palm syrup. That one I've never heard of. Hickory syrup. Ooh. Yeah, I'll try all of those, please. Mind-boosting roots. Beets, sweet potatoes, yes please. I'll take a double helping. I love to roast beets. They are delicious. Oh, a nice story it looks like. A little background about a chef. Dakori, oh gosh, Dakari Akarid. Akaridi? Anyway. That is the gentleman chef they are talking about in there. Got a little profile on, a little question and answer deal. Oh, and also, huh, oh my, yeah, that's going to have to happen. Chicago, and it's spelled like the Cajun way, not maybe Cajun, but like you would in Louisiana. The Frenchish way. Chicago Shrimp and Grits. If you have never tried Shrimp and Grits, maybe you're not from the South or something. You uh, don't know what you're missing. As long as you like shrimp. You don't even really have to like grits. You don't even have to have, have, to have grits before. Grits is just Southern polenta. Okay, if you're worried about, you know, gosh, what is a grit? Just think polenta. Yes, it's delicious. Um, trending Thanksgiving playbook. Now look at this spread they've got set up for this picture. Holy cannoli. That's not the only thing not on that table is a cannoli. That looked amazing. Oh man, I want some turkey now. I gotta buy a turkey. And the thing is, I don't have off Thanksgiving week this year. I usually have the whole week off and I can prep and I can shop and I can just toodle in the kitchen all week long and make pies and everything else. I'm not off this week, that week, this year makes me unhappy. Now this is that beautiful grilled turkey they had from before, but I have a feeling you could use all the same flavors that they're putting in there in a non-grilled fashion. So there you go. Turkey gravy. 
on how to make that. And oh yes, they're using the Chef John trick right there. Turkey gravy. You ever want to know how to make the best turkey gravy? Do it the day before. Buy some turkey wings. The store will usually have turkey wings in, in their section, especially getting around the holidays. Buy some. Buy a package of turkey wings and roast them with all the wonderful goodies and make your gravy ahead of time. You can add some drippings from the turkey that you roast afterwards if you must. Glazed ham? That's beautiful. Yes, it is. Individual beef wellingtons. Okay, your girl's not going through this much trouble, I can tell you that right now. But doesn't that look delicious? Mmm. Oh, and this one here. Roast spatchcock. That's a weird word, isn't it? Spatchcock. You can say it all day long and not get banned for it. Spatchcock. Especially when you're doing it with, you know, a turkey or a chicken. But that's what they're talking about here with that picture. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't right, right? Oh, and now we get into the side dishes. First, the picture of some of these sides. Look at this. Mm. I'm getting hungry. I did not have dinner yet. You know, that is... Mm. Roasted beets, that's one side. Creamed pearl onions, and they're saying better than gravy. Yeah, it might be. Look at those, the cream pearl onions, roasted beets. Mm, now you're speaking my language. That's stuff that I could have all year round, roasted beets, because I really like them. Sweet potato streusel casserole. And see, they're trying to limit your serving size by putting it in little bitty ramekins. <laughs> so you can't pull a Deborah and go, I think I need some more of that. You know, plate full. Oh, warm Brussels sprout salad. That looks delicious. Hazelnuts in there, bacon, little maple syrup, rosemary, cranberries dried cranberries that is, and some Pecorino Romano cheese. If you say that you don't like Brussels sprouts, I s just try them prepared a different way. You try to serve them to me boiled, I'm, I'm setting that right back to you. But roasted, oh yes, Brussels sprouts roasted are amazing. Ooh, green bean artichoke casserole. Cranberry, oh, they are their version of cranberry sauce. Now, see, they get all extra with their cranberry sauce. Mine is easy and takes like 10 minutes, but yeah. It sure is pretty, though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, slow cooker mashed potatoes. I'm confused by that. You don't need a slow cooker for your mashed potatoes, although they are beautiful. I use my um, Instant Pot for them now. It bakes those suckers in about 16 minutes. Mm. And I'm not even kidding. And they're wonderful. Ooh, I could have a whole meal, or you know, probably not a healthy one, but a whole meal of this right here. Easy breezy brie. All different ways to use brie with your crackers, with your, your nuts and, and your fruits and... Mm. Desserts. Oh, desserts for days? Then why do they only show one on this page if it's desserts for days? I mean, it's, it's pretty. That is that uh, cheesecake with cranberry glaze and sugared cranberries. Yeah, I could do that. Go in a freaking diabetic coma, too. Chocolate silk pie. Oh, sweet potato cupcakes with toasted marshmallow frosting. That takes all the health benefits of the sweet potato and says, <laughs> no. They look good though, don't they? Oh my gosh. Chocolate silk pie, yes. Pecan pie bars and grandma's banana pudding. Those pie bars look good. Trying to keep your portion size small again, right. 
banana pudding. That's a my hubby size serving of that stuff right there. He loves some banana pudding. I never make it either. Uh, chai apple pie. Ooh. Oh, yes. I love the flavors of chai. Okay. I love apple pie. Looks beautiful. Has a chai flavor to it. This is an advert or a promotion. Oh, Secrets to Better Soup. If you don't get hungry looking at that, I don't know who you are. French onion soup gratiné. They, they stuck an extra accent and an extra letter there, which didn't make any sense to me. But this is one of the ones where you take a long time and actually caramelize the onions and don't just brown them. Chef John's butternut bisque. I figured he'd have a recipe in here. I, I love Chef John. I, he's all over YouTube. He's part of this all recipes thing. If I remember, I will link him down below. I might even link him up here if I remember. Um, but yeah, butternut bisque. Oh my gosh. Butternut squash soup is absolutely delicious. And it's actually not that hard. But they tell you how, some steps here of how to make your soups better. So that's good. Lemon chicken orzo soup. Yes, please. Caldo de res, Mexican beef soup. Oh yeah, using beef shank. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Mm. Oh, I, I want all these things. Can I have them all? Can I have them all now? Then we get into dough. It says do it all dough. Apparently they've got a dough that you just doctor up different ways to make different things out of. And I don't know about you, but I obviously like all the foods. Look at all those different breads. And for you, my gluten-free friends, I'm so sorry. Mm. Yes. I mean, I could probably live without pigs in a blanket, but pretty much everything else, I'll take that, please. Oh, yeah, there's literally one dough recipe. And then they tell you what to do a little bit different for all of those different things. I like that. I like that a lot. And they've got a few simple sides that don't even have a whole recipe. They literally have a little bit of directions and some pretty pictures to go with it. Um, lime, cilantro, cauliflower, rice. I'll take it. Jazzed up fries. That's pretty much what I do with fries anyway. Garlic butter mixed veggies. Yum. And their little thing too as well. This is something that this magazine does that I think is pretty cool. They tell you what to pair with what to try to, you know, give you ideas. Because half the time I, I've kind of figured out that becoming an adult is just a constant quest for what in the heck you're going to cook for dinner. Every day. Every day. Yeah. But they have to give you different menus and what pages to look on for all of those. Uh, weeknight dinners. Cajun pasta, uh, excuse me, chicken pasta with Cajun seasoning. And I'm not one to actually follow recipes. I know that's weird. I look through a recipe book. I, I have hundreds hundreds of cookbooks. Love them. I rarely follow a recipe. I get inspiration from looking at things and I think, oh, I can make that. Look at this. Low carb spaghetti squash Alfredo. Uh, some people don't like spaghetti squash. I like it. Is it exactly like spaghetti? No, but you get enough of that texture that's kind of spaghetti-like as long as you've cooked it all properly. And uh, you just have to make sure that you season it enough because if you don't season it properly, it's going to be bland. Ground beef noodle bowls. Love me some noodles. I usually just add Korean um, chili seasoning and do it that way. I wonder what they're using here. They're using ramen noodles. That's interesting. But no uh, gochujang. Get yourself some gochujang. You'll thank me later. Heavenly halibut. All right, fishy, fishy, fish. Okay, honey mustard pork chops, which I can never have in this house because the hubby is actually allergic 
to mustard. Not all mustards, but he doesn't like to take the chance, and he doesn't like the flavor because of many, many bad experiences. It has sort of tainted him on mustard. I love mustard. I love getting like mustard flavored wings, like honey mustard, yum. Oh, here's a section on good for you, and they're showing a whole bunch of nice little root veg. Yes, root veg is good for you. Oh, different ways to make mash. Okay, I've never actually tried celery. I think it's celery root. Um, see, they give you the kind of what's it's and what to do with it and how to pair it with toppings and stuff. That's pretty, pretty cool. Oven Loven Casseroles. And they give you two choices on these, which I think is fun. Indulge or go healthy. Go big and go home. That's what I say. Chicken Parmesan Pasta Casserole is the indulge. The healthy one is Eggplant Parmesan Casserole, which I actually love eggplant parm, so that sounds good to me. Uh, indulge or go healthy. Cheesy Tot Breakfast Casserole or California cauliflower tot and turkey sausage breakfast casserole okay how to get calcium more calcium they're talking about cheeses and stuff milk different sources of calcium and also they talk about calcium without dairy involving some vegetables and stuff they're coming up in the world and then they have a section called family for kids and stuff <laughs> trick or dog treats they're peanut butter and pumpkin dog treats so you can eat them but uh you know make them in little doggy shapes make people think you're eating the dog's treats that's always fun teaching kids about the gift of kindness that's always a good idea Oh, World Kindness Day is November 13th, and Giving Tuesday is November 30th. All right, I think every day should be World Kindness Day. I mean, come on. How to disinfect and how to sanitize different things around your house. Ooh, Jackie's Killer Crab Dip. I want some of that too. I want all of it. Darn it, I like food. Isn't that obvious? Sausage stuffed mushrooms with a cranberry drizzle. That looks pretty darn amazing. Julian's festive tuna salad. As long as it's cold and not a hot tuna thing, I like it. And this is, this is a cold tuna thing. Not a big fan of hot tuna unless it's a seared tuna steak or something. That's just me. And a whole bunch of other recipes here. Some of the ones we saw in the front are all kind of tucked in here in the back all together. Hot or cold, you pick cider bourbon thermos cocktail. You want a bourbon cocktail? There you go. What if they rim the glasses with? Rim glasses with cinnamon sugar and garnish with apple slices and cinnamon sticks. Well, there you have it. Just a quick look through. There's so much more detail in here than what I was showing you. This really is a nice thick magazine. Not affiliated or anything like that. I just happen to like it and I subscribe to it, which is why I'm sharing it with you. This is the October-November 2021 edition. Um, yeah, Thanksgiving and other stuff for fall. Also, like I said before, if you are interested in possibly getting your own subscription to this, because I am going to renew, let's be real, um, tell me what's your favorite dish out of all of those that you saw, even if you don't know much about them, what looked the best to you. Thanks for coming by. I know this was a long, long video and I appreciate it, especially if you stayed all the way to the end. Any of us content creators, we just want you to watch and enjoy our videos, and leave us a comment and a like sometimes. I like the comments. I enjoy getting to know y'all much, much better. Thank you, and I will see you very, very soon. Maybe for dinner. <laughs>